All right, we've uh, measured out and laid out our feed, uh, what they call header tube, a half inch uh, poly. It's uh, soft sided. So we'll hook that up now to our pump. Got a barb fitting. Almost forgot the clamp. May not need it. It's kind of a tight fit anyway, but we'll put it on there. Fans are already running today. 85 in the greenhouse. I think it's just about 40, 45 outside. Finally getting a little bit warmer weather. Just tighten this clamp. Okay. These are submersible pumps. Just submerge that maybe it's not plugged in yet anyway, but stick it there on the bottom. It's the opposite end of our return so it continues to mix well. Alright, and we'll uh, move up there and we'll uh, put in one of our header barbs and do a test run. Okay, you see here, have our header pipe that comes from the reservoir pump, and then basically everywhere. We're gonna put, it's called a spaghetti line. We'll punch a hole, we'll stick it in, it'll come up and it'll go into the uh, tube or into the tray. So you can just slide this tray out of the way for a second. Just take this pick all, go in about that far. You should be able to snap this tube in the end it's just a barb it'll use actually the pressure of the water to push that barb back out against the wall of the uh, tubing and this just goes down inside of there right now it appears that it's a little the holes a little small on this one it's normally supposed to fit in like that so what that'll do is it'll just be in there and the solution will run through there we'll start the pump I'll actually widen this hole and we'll move this one over here and we'll put one in every uh, every channel okay we got three of these in now pumps running hopefully I can do this without making much of a mess here you can see we got flow and it's running down these three channels currently. It'll be several pumps running. You can hear it running. And coming back out the back end, just like it's supposed to. No leaks so far. That's good news. We'll get a few more of these emitters stuck in, and we'll start putting some lettuce in today. All right, we finished topping off our reservoir. We've uh, mixed our master blend nutrients. Come over here, we've got a blue lab meter. Monitors pH, temperature 69. Um, much warmer than it was earlier. It was in the low 60s, but we just added some water. Plus I've got a heater that I can put in there if needed. Um, usually that's uh, pretty good for lettuce uh, the nutrients ECs about 1.3 probably a little high for lettuce but uh, it'll still be all right and our pH is up there it's uh, yeah six four that's actually pretty good perfect for lettuce so pH has come down uh, the nutrients are pretty good and the temperature looks right. So we're ready to stick some lettuce in it. We've got a little bit, I cheated, but uh, we're gonna put a little bit more out here. 
Okay, and to finish up today, we have 135 starts there of lettuce. Some have germinated these. We're about uh, two weeks ahead. These are about a week or two, and then those are about a week later. So um, it takes about 30 to 40 days to maturity for lettuce. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe as we try to build our channel. Thanks for watching.